Hi, this is Janice from ScrappyCutsOnline.com or JustSoScrappyCuts.com. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble the holiday lantern that I created using Funtime software. You can get this file as well as others at my site. I started out by cutting out all of the pieces using my Gazelle by Boss Cut. I love this machine. Each of the four sides of the lantern has a transparency window. I wanted to make the windows a little bit more interesting, so I used my cuddle bug and the snowflake embossing folder. The windows are made from just an ordinary transparency from, that you would use on a transparency machine. Since the transparency was so thin, I used the packaging to create a shim to give the transparency a little bit more definition. The body of the lantern is made of two pieces, and this is one of the pieces. This is the piece that says Merry Christmas. When you are scoring this piece, make sure that Merry Christmas is facing up and so that you can read it, and it will be on the left side. The flaps or the tabs are three quarters inch from the edge. This, knowing this will help you line up the score lines correctly. Every score line is parallel to an edge. Now this, this score line is parallel to the top edge and you will make two score lines. One where the V's are and then up a little bit, halfway up, and there's the other score line. Notice I'm always checking to see if those edges are parallel so my score line is going to be aligned correctly and then scoring from the V to the point. The flaps or the tabs on the side are always a half an inch and I also I also made the top flap to line up where the score line is going to go. So it's, it's going to be fairly easy to figure out where those score lines are. And again, there's a half an inch. Always make sure that there is a half an inch and it's parallel so your score lines are going to be correct. Half an inch and a half an inch again and turning it over. See, Merry Christmas so you can read it. Uh, you, I assembled a whole lantern at one time without checking and again, and Merry Christmas was backwards. So I really make sure Merry Christmas is forwards from now on. You will notice that there are little holes on the side flaps. Those flaps will help you line up the two pieces together and to reinforce the pieces together with brads. Pre-folding is, is really necessary. See that's how it goes together. Now there's the second piece and you want to make sure that the wreath is next to the Merry Christmas. This is the hood to the lantern. The flap on this side is also a half an inch. So you score between the scallops and the V's on the inner side of the, of the hood. This particular piece makes the little box that you would put the flameless candle in. You would score the lines by lining up the V's and the, the points. And each of the score lines is one half inch from the edge and then the second score line is an inch from the edge. Always pre-fold and then assemble before you put the adhesive on so you understand how the box goes together. And now it's time to assemble the lantern. Make sure you use very strong adhesive on each of the flaps except for the bottom flaps. The next thing you're going to do is align the holes on the flap of the Merry Christmas side to the right hand holes on the front of the wreath side. This is where you will attach the two sides and then in the holes you will add a brad just to secure the seam. Remove the adhesive, attach the Merry Christmas side to the wreath side aligning the holes. and pressing securely so they have a nice strong hold.
the next thing you're going to do is put one, your window on and the each window also has holes that you can line up I use my ATG gun to tack down the transparency window but make sure you have the holes lined up because you'll have a heck of a time getting the breath through the transparency add a brad to each hole at the corner of the window keep in mind that the legs of the brad when they're spread should not interfere with the fold of the lantern and repeat yourself for all four windows when you get to the last window only put brads in the inner two holes that would be the Christmas tree now it's time to decorate and if you've watched my other videos you know I like to use chalks and I like to use inks and I like to use pens and glitter and gems just to give interest to the die cuts because you can do whatever you want with them remember you can find these die cuts as well as all of uh, others at our site at scrappycutsonline.com or just so scrappycuts.com each piece of the die cut is layered and distressed you can also put these die cuts through an embossing machine to give them some texture you could use your sander to sand some of the sides off um, the pieces will fit on the silhouette uh, uh, that's on the main part of the lantern there's the Christmas tree now here comes the snowman I'm using blue ink or blue chalk to give the snowman some depth and interest and there's the bird little pieces of the bird you'd think that it takes a long time to cut out but really it doesn't take that much time at all especially with the gazelle I'm using cotton swabs or makeup applicators to to put the chalk on this is a nice chalk because it's creamy creamy metallic now adding the snowman to the lantern I like to use that scotch quick dry glue because it's a little bit forgiving and I tend to put things sometimes in the wrong spot and um, anyway I had to move it around okay so when you download files from our site each file comes with a step-by-step -step instruction sheet so that there's no confusion on what layer to put down first so in this case with the snowman first came the snowman body then the hat then the hat trim then the broomstick the broom the broom trim next will come the scarf the scarf trim and then the bird with the bird tail or the bird wings and then the bird body and then the bird head and then last will come the arms of the snowman next comes the wreath and all its trimmings I had chalked all of the bow pieces and the now my birds going to start whistling okay now Merry Christmas and then adding the C the S and the Y and the decorations are all done now turn the lantern over fold the snowman in and the tree in and remove the adhesive attach the tree to the snowman and then you add your brads then continue removing the adhesive and attaching all of the remainder pieces assemble the voltive holder now remember you're going to use a flameless volt of one of those little battery operated ones and then attach it to the bottom aligning the two holes the two middle holes and then you're going to put a brad in the middle to secure it really well this is going to be the floor of your lantern this next step is is optional I kind of wanted to make sure that the bottom would not fall out if I lifted the lantern so I attached one of those little photo tabs I think that's what they're called at one of the corners and then I attached the bottom with the remainder brad and that way the bottom could swing out and swing back in 
I attach the votive to the bottom of the lantern by using Velcro and then reinserted the votive into the lantern. Next connect the two ends of the lantern hood and then it just slips right on to the lantern. I use eyelets to secure the holes for the handle and then for the handle I just strung some pony beads with wire and, I, and then the last step I decorated some of the die cuts with things that would that took some time to dry like this is liquid pearls I added cranberries to the wreath and just little decorations to the Merry Christmas I used my starlight pen by Secura to add some blink to the tree and then I finished off the snowman by using the black glaze pen by Secura and added just a touch a bit of white on the nose to give the nose some little life and it's complete. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a great holiday season. Bye.